Hello, it's been a few months since I made my last video and I kind of took a break back in March for personal reasons. I'm not really going to get into the details of why I took some time off, but hopefully with summer coming to an end very shortly, I might be able to get back into some videos, although I may not keep up with a regular schedule. Some many months ago, I got in on the ground floor on a discussion on Twitter and there was a lot of back and forth between Globers and Flat Earthers and I've just been keeping an eye on the discussions back and forth. Recently the discussion then turned towards taboo conspiracies quote-unquote analysis of a Swiss air flight at night and how the stars should move if they were to dip the nose and go around the curve, yada, 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 flat earth straw man. And I'm not going to cover the full details of the analysis why that conclusion was wrong or flawed, but I just wanted to make my own video to show how I went about estimating roughly what I thought that flight was and to come up with an animation of the flight using real flight data. The first thing I needed to do was to find a reasonably accurate or at least a reasonable representative of that flight that that time lapse indicated. And so the first thing that I had to do was to identify roughly which flight it was and or what time of the year it was. Just for context, this was a flight that was taken and I think it was either the pilot or the co-pilot who took that and they ended up making a time-lapse video out of it. I'll leave a link to the original down below and I'll also leave a link to Taboo Conspiracy's analysis video as well so you can look at those if you want. So the first thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to see if I could identify when that flight took place. I also wanted to identify the general locations that that flight took place, just in case I couldn't find the flight itself. At that point, I still wasn't entirely sure which flight it was. So I started off by taking a few screenshots of the original video. It starts off at Palma in Spain, then they go over Algiers, the Sahara, Dakar, and then finally over the Atlantic Ocean, and that's about roughly where the video ends. I wanted to find a match of the stars as seen in Palma. So I went to Google Maps and I took a screenshot of their geolocation. This, by the way, is at the end of that time lapse as a way to celebrate the first year anniversary of having some cameras that I had set up to take pictures of the night sky. I decided to start working on an application that I called my sky watching app, which was to use the models of the sun, moon, stars, planets, movements in the sky, and to overlay where those models predicted those various objects to appear on top of the images that were captured by those cameras. I put it aside to essentially rewrite the underlying code and to start working on something else. I did make a GitHub project uh, that I made available. The nice thing about the first app that I wrote was that it uses a script that I could write to specify geo-coordinates, specify times, specify all sorts of information, and it would generate an image that a camera should see at that location pointing in that direction. And so I thought I was going to use that app that I had written to essentially recreate that flight lapse video. Of course, I still had to find out roughly what time that flight took off. According to flightaware.com, the only flight that seems to go from Zurich to Sao Paulo leaves at around 11 p.m. every few days. I don't know exactly when that flight took off. It could have been before 11, it could have been slightly after 11, and that would have an impact as well in my analysis. So I went with roughly 11 p.m. When I click on the flight in question, it gives a whole bunch of waypoints. You can see this is in Eastern time zone, so this is my local time, not CEST time. I took the data that was presented by flightaware.com and I ended up writing a script for it. But in order to be as accurate 
to the original flight as possible. I wanted to get as close to the original date in question, and that was a bit tricky as well. So what I ended up doing was I took a small area screenshot of the time lapse, and I uploaded it to astronomy.net, which looks at the stars and it identifies the area of the celestial sphere that that image was taken. So there's the details if you want to go chase that down further. And once I had the area, the next trick was to find out what time of the year that flight took off. Luckily, you can see an area over here that is the Milky Way galaxy. And so I had a rough orientation of the Milky Way galaxy. And from that, I could estimate the time of year. The original time lapse was released in April of 2017. And if I back up several months, I should be able to estimate the time that that flight was taken. And once again, there are several unknowns. I don't know exactly if that particular flight was delayed or not. I don't know if it left before 11 p.m. or after 11 p.m. There are many factors that could have contributed to what time of the year that flight took place. I would estimate that it was roughly somewhere in the month of August 2016 at slightly different times to see if I could get a better match, but I decided I was going to stop there, at least for this analysis. I'm going to play my full animation of this flight from takeoff to landing. I'm also going to add in a picture in picture the video of the original flight so that you can compare the original against my animation. So enjoy my take on this.
And that's going to be it for now. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, I would appreciate the thumbs up, the like, the subscribe if you're not already. And hopefully we can convince YouTube that my channel isn't dead after all. With that, I'm going to see you again in another video at some point soon in the future, I hope. Bye for now.